Let us sing to the Lord, for he is glorious triumphant. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Here we offer spares for the pose of the soul of Wayne Gordon. We ask God for his pardon and strength. Lord, you came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully. So that those who have freed, you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south of the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Kaidans, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his prosperity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and from beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water. And he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about pre proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks let us let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. 
Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let, let all, all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now all you who fear God while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let, let all, all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let, Let all, all the dead cry out to God with joy. Hallelujah! 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 I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever is this bread will live forever. Oh. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me <clears throat> unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the man in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> As we read the scriptures, particularly in this Easter season, we uh, again and again see uh, uh, the critical importance of, of the Word of God. Um, you know, uh, last Sunday when we read the story of the road to, two disciples on the road to Emmaus, it says that Jesus himself, uh, in their blindness, when they could not see him, he began to speak about, for, for, for a long time, about all the scriptures of the Old Testament, uh, he said they referred to him. Uh, and it turned out, he said their hearts burned as he did so. Uh, and throughout the scriptures, we, uh, so we see uh, 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 Philip uh, in, the, in the first reading today, coming across uh, the Ethiopian eunuch, the first reference in the New Testament of the gospel being proclaimed uh, to the uh, member of the continent of Africa. Um, and again, a prominent official, servant of the queen, so you know he took it with him when he went back home and, uh, and shared that good news that so changed his life as he was baptized. And, uh, but again, but just seeing his hunger for the scripture, he was reading it, he just didn't understand it. So when we asked Philip, Philip, do you, I'm reading this passage, but do you know what it's referring to? Can you break open a word for me the way Jesus did to the disciples? Uh, throughout the scriptures, even today in the gospel today, we hear uh, Jesus talking to the crowds, and then he says, you know, about how no one comes to the Father unless, uh, um, uh, unless God draws him. And he says, yeah, it is for it is written in the prophets. We hear the phrase over and over, it is written for it is written. Constantly we are challenged and called to see our story, our human story, connecting it to the story of salvation. Salvation history, the history of salvation, is the history of God working in our story, in human history. When God enters a picture, it's salvation history. When God enters your life, it's salvation history. It's salvation added to your story. Uh, you know, we all had a beginning of the story. We were conceived, we were born. The story began, and the story will have an ending in this world, but 
it won't end with this world. And whenever, if we have any doubt about that, it's critical for us to look at, again, the scriptures. To see, we will see how we're a part of that story of God saving work. So in this time of, 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 of social separation, it's again that we need not be separated from the word of God. It's an opportunity to make an even greater effort uh, to study the scriptures, to meditate upon them, you know, day and night, uh, to, to recognize uh, the greatness of God in the story, but also to recognize our story in that story. Uh, for it is written in the, you know, in the prophets. Uh, it is written in the gospels. Uh, may we continue to, because it's precisely when uh, we can have the same experience that, that, that the eunuch had, that so many had, that the two disciples had, when their hearts burned, and, and all of a sudden they went from sadness and hopelessness to genuine hope and confidence. May we allow the word of God to, to do the same for us. For after all, the reason we meditate on this word, the reason the first half of mass is scripture, you know, the liturgy of the word, is precisely so it will so penetrate us and to do it transform our lives. Exactly the way the word of God turns bread into the body of Christ, we're invited to allow the same word to turn us into the body of Christ. Let us bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit, spreading the good news of God's enduring presence and faithful love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We continue to pray for peace in our world from the end of the scourge of this uh, pandemic the scourge of violence and war, injustice and poverty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all of our sisters and brothers who lack the basic necessities of life, especially food and shelter, uh, employment, health care, friends and families who support them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our parish school, our faculty and staff, the children uh, learning in our school and their parents, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the sick and the shed of those in hospitals and nursing homes, those whom we promise to pray, and those who need our prayers the most, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our health care workers, all those who are in the front lines of, 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 of helping up to bring healing and, and, uh, and health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for, our, for all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for any other prayers we offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers. We ask in confidence, but we ask through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, which have become for us the bread of life. Yes, be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Bless me, God, forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come, have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. 
He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome a past with joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give it thanks to you, Father, worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, for the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Always with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed was called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to you shall down under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord with your lives. Then speak to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.